Hi, today I'm going to show how to update the BIOS on ThinkPad laptop. First step is you need to download the BIOS CD from the official website. I'm going to use wget command. Now let me check the size of my ISO image. So it's around 33 MB. Now you need to install something called Gen ISO image. You need to run the following commands as per your Linux distro. This command is going to extract bootable image that I'm going to write onto my USB pen drive. So run the command as per your Linux distribution. Okay, now we need to extract the image from ISO image. This is the my ISO image and this is the command. It's called get el torito. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So this is the command and I have, I have just written a file name x230.image. This is the, my file. And let me check the file. So it's bootable DOS, bootable DOS file, and 32 MB is the size. Now, finally, we need to write the image to the USB sticks. So I'm going to run d message command to find out my pen drive name. Obviously, you need to insert the USB stick into your computer. So it's uh, SDB. You need to be very careful with this device name because if you choose wrong name, you're going to lose the data. So I'm going to write DD input file X, X230 image that I have extracted earlier. And dev SDB is my USB drive, oh sorry, pen drive. And I need to add sudo and it's going to take a couple of seconds to write that file. So my file is ready. I can mount dev sdb1 to media with mount command and then I'm just going to list the files. So okay we got all the files. Now I need to unmount the drive, pen drive. Alright. Final step is to reboot the laptop. Now I'm going to update the BIOS. So I'm going to interrupt the BIOS menu by pressing enter key and then I'm going to press F12 to choose the temporary startup device. So I'm going to press F12. Here is my USB device. Select that device and just press the enter key. Now it is starting PC DOS and I'm going to select the option update system program. Press the enter key take a little bit time so it's showing me the warning that do you want to continue yes I want to continue so I'll press Y now make sure that the AC adapter is firmly connected to the laptop and power supply make sure that a charge battery pack is installed and do not power off during an update now updating. I press enter key and now it's updating. It may take about a few minutes. Okay, alright, no problem. Make sure you do not turn off the computer during this. It's completed. The system program update is, com is continued by BIOS at the next reboot. Do not power off the system during the procedure. Do not remove the USB stick. Press enter to restart the system. Then the power of the and then power off the system after the CD shows. This screen again. It means 
I'm going to get that update screen again. So I press the enter key and the screen will come and the update will continue. So now it is reading the current BIOS. See, do not turn off the computer during the update and now it has started the flashing procedure. Again it's going to take a little bit time please do not turn off the laptop during this update otherwise you will have bricked laptop it won't boot it won't do anything and you need to send your laptop to the service center so do not turn off the laptop so I'm going to wait do not press any key just let it go it will take its own time ok flashing finished BIOS is updated successfully system will shut down and reboot again that's ok so my system is rebooted and now I am getting my Ubuntu startup screen I am going to just install enter the my password and it will start you can check the BIOS version just again press enter key and here I am in my BIOS after pressing that F2 key it shows the date and BIOS version so that's all it's pretty easy and simple procedure